Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. In this video, we'll set up a new Windows 11 PC. I'm using a Chewy MiniBook X for this demonstration. First things first. After unboxing, we need to power it on. Find the power button on the side here and turn it on. After the initial boot screen, we'll choose the language. I'll pick Spanish. You should select your preferred language. Once chosen, scroll down and click Yes. Next, we'll select our specific region. I'll choose Spain. You should pick your own region. In the next step, we're asked to select our preferred keyboard layout. In this case, I'll choose Spanish just like in the previous steps. So we select it and click Yes. When it asks if we want to add a second keyboard layout, it means we can choose to have, for example, an English keyboard option too, with the layout of an English keyboard instead of a Spanish one. I don't want another layout, so I'll click Skip. Now we see a second loading screen, then the license agreement step. We'll scroll to the bottom, which is probably necessary anyway. Once at the bottom, click Accept. Next, it asks us to name the PC. So give it whatever name you want. In this case, I'm going to name it Vias. Once you've decided on the name, click Next. Next, it asks for a password. Let's choose one we can easily remember. After entering it and clicking Next, it asks for confirmation. So we enter it again. Then we move on to privacy settings and security questions. We'll need to pick three security questions we can answer if we forget our password. When we open the drop-down, we see various preset questions from which we'll select three and type our answers in the box below each one. As you can see, I'm on question two of three. For each question, choose, answer and click next, three times total. Once we answer the three questions and hit next, we can proceed with the setup. In the next step, we'll choose whether we want Microsoft to use our location or not. This is useful for Google Maps or any other geolocation system we might need to use. This choice is really up to personal preference. If you don't want your location seen, click no. If you're okay with it and want to use geolocation services, click yes. In my case, I'm going to click yes and then accept. Once we accept the location setting, we'll need to choose again whether we want to access the Find My Device feature. This will help Windows assist us in locating our computer if we ever lose it. Since I think it's a useful feature, I'm going to select Yes and click Accept. But as I said, you can choose whatever you prefer here. In the next section, we once again need to choose Yes or No. This time it's about whether we want Microsoft to improve handwriting input. If we select Yes, it'll record what we typically write to improve the dictionary and quick words suggesting words we often use or it thinks we might want to use. I find this feature helpful too, so I'm going to select Yes and click Accept. In the next section, we'll choose if we want Windows ads to be personalized or more general. I avoid selecting Yes here, as it seems to increase ad frequency, tailoring them to our preferences, so I always choose No to prevent targeted ads and suggestions based on my activity. So, I thought No and Accept. The next part is similar, but it's about apps rather than Windows. It asks if we want ads to know what's relevant to us, just like before. I still choose No, as I don't want them knowing anything, so I select No and Accept. Now, as you can see after selecting various options, we get the Hello message saying this may take a few minutes. Don't unplug the PC if it's charging, and let's wait for the next screen. Finally, as you can see, the next step shows the full Windows 11 desktop giving us complete freedom to use the PC. At this point, we could start using the PC, but I like to do one small thing first. For this, we'll need internet access, either Wi-Fi or cable, as I want to update the system before using it. So let's go to the internet settings and connect to a Wi-Fi network. I'm connecting to Wi-Fi, but if you have a cable, feel free to use that instead. I search for my Wi-Fi, enter the password, and click Next to connect to the Internet. Now that you're online, we'll proceed to update the system. We'll actually update both the system and drivers 
to get the latest versions of everything, ensuring the computer runs optimally. The easiest way to do this is through the search bar at the bottom. Open it and type updates. See how typing update is enough? Check for updates appears right away. Let's click on it right here. As you can see, it takes us to the Windows Update panel. Here, we'll search for updates. With the computer freshly unboxed, it should detect some updates to install. Let's wait a few seconds. As you can see, it has found all these updates. There they are, okay? You can see all this downloading. These are the updates we need to install. It's important to do this before you start using the PC. There's an interesting tab here for automatic updates. I prefer to keep this on so the computer updates itself when needed. Now, we'll wait for everything to download and install one by one. Some will install automatically, others will ask us to restart the PC. So we'll wait patiently and then continue. As you can see, some updates will appear that require manual download and installation. This is because the update is large and will take longer than usual. So the computer asks if you want to do it now or later. That's why it gives you the option to do it manually by clicking here. I advise you to install all the others first, and once they're all done, do the manual update last. Finally, once all updates are installed and your computer is ready, you can start using Windows 11 without any issues. Well guys, that's it for this video. As always, I hope this has been helpful. If so, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay updated. That's all from me. As always, it's been a pleasure. See you in the next video.